We all have fears, but this little boy is afraid of everything. Then one day his biggest fear pays a visit and kidnaps him to change the boy's life forever. This is Orion who seems like a common kid, but his numerous fears keep holding him back. He has no friends as he never dared to approach anyone. In his school there's a girl named Sally whom Orion really wants to be friends with. Every day he thinks about talking to her but gets afraid of rejection and humiliation. It's not the only thing he is afraid of. He avoids going to the toilet because he is afraid of clogging the toilet and flooding the school. He is also afraid of giving wrong answers in class and doesn't speak even if he knows the right answer because Orion is afraid of mispronouncing it. These fears may not be special, but Orion has some more which have a really low probability of happening. He is afraid of murderous gutter clowns, cell phones giving him cancer, mosquito bites infecting him, falling off a skyscraper, greeting someone good morning, bees, dogs, ocean, losing in a sports game and even going to school lockers because of Richie, the bully. Orion is afraid that he may get killed by the bully or accidentally kill the bully and suffer in jail. Richie is not that dangerous and after teasing Orion a little he just leaves. However, Orion is still afraid of facing him again. The school counselor told him to document his fears in some form. That's why he keeps a sketchbook. It's his way of trying to manage his issues, but it doesn't help much. Later that day, the teacher asks students for the permission slips as they are going on a field trip to the planetarium. Orion doesn't want to go as he is afraid of their bus getting in an accident. And if they survive that, they may get killed by the planet models falling down on them. Besides this, Orion will be awkward around Sally and may become a joke in front of his Clash fellows. That's why Orion lies to his teacher that he didn't get the permission from his parents. He meets Sally at the school gate who asks if they can sit together. Orion will love to do that but he is afraid of acting weird and doesn't reply to her. Afterward he rushes home because he also fears that his parents will leave him forever if he doesn't reach home in time. Even though they are super nice. They want Orion to enjoy his life and advise him to go on the field trip. It's normal to be afraid but Orion shouldn't let his fears get in the way of living his life. But Orion believes it's the worst advice he ever heard. He doesn't like having fun like other kids. He doesn't even love watching cartoons as they are too unrealistic. Instead of having a normal kid's imagination, Orion wonders about what will happen after death. He always stays scared and begs his parents not to leave him until he falls asleep. They advise him to be brave but as soon as they leave, he puts on several lights in his room. Because of all the things he is afraid of, he is most afraid of the dark. Suddenly the lights go out and Orion starts trembling in fear. He keeps screaming and cursing darkness. Suddenly he hears someone speaking and complaining about the screams. A huge black creature appears before Orion and introduces himself as Dark. He explains that there are a lot of people who are afraid of him, but Orion is on a whole different level. He is the loudest among all the kids who hate Dark, and it hurts when someone hates you so much. Orion hides under the bed and tries to convince himself that Dark can't be an alive and talking creature. Humans always had weird ways of conceptualizing Dark. Therefore, he made a movie about himself. The movie explains that Dark has existed for over 500 million years since early life on Earth developed light-sensitive proteins. He never has chosen to be a supernatural entity that evokes dread and despair. He's just a regular guy trying to do his job. But everyone hates him and calls him evil. This hurts Dark. Orion feels sorry for him as he also gets bullied by others. All he wishes is to not be afraid anymore. It will be beneficial for Dark as well as he doesn't have to hear Orion's screams at night. He wants Orion to watch him doing his job for one night and see that Dark is nothing to be afraid of. Orion feels reluctant at first but he agrees as he doesn't want to be paralyzed by fear for the rest of his life. He gets on Dark's back and flies around the sky. Dark is determined to change Orion's point of view and he starts by showing him the virtues of night. Without Dark, no one will be able to see the glowing billboards or the beauty of fireworks fireflies and stars. They are going at high speed, so Orion regrets coming as he is afraid of dying, but Dark believes that Orion is afraid of living. He doesn't even put his hand in the water because he fears that the sharks will eat him. He says that fun is just a word people made up to make danger sound more appealing. Orion tries to cover his eyes but he slips and almost falls down. He wants to return home but Dark has to follow the natural cycle of 24 hours. Orion can't walk back by himself so he has to bear with Dark. He starts telling him about his importance as without Dark. Other night entities will not be able to work. They also take breaks and rest in a house. 
Dark takes Orion to their headquarters where he meets the other night entities named as Sleep, Quiet, Insomnia, Unexplained Noises, and the most creative one, Sweet Dreams. Dark explains why he brought the kid, but Sweet Dreams scolds him for risking the balance of the universe to prove that not everybody hates him. She asks Orion to go back home, but Dark explains that curing Orion's screaming will benefit all of them. The break time is over, so all the night entities go back to work, and Orion also follows them to see what's their job. Sleep is responsible for making sure all the creatures of the world go to sleep at night. For this purpose, she uses magical pillows, chloroform, and hammers. Orion finds it a little harsh and tries stopping her, but Sleep gets really angry at him. Afterward, he goes to see Insomnia, who keeps people alive by reminding them of their worries and random negative possibilities. Orion calls him a jerk for ruining others' sleep, but Insomnia explains that he just highlights the thoughts people already have in their mind. The next entity is Quiet. She absorbs all the sounds during the night. Orion gets terrified by the quietness and screams to ruin the whole moment. In the contrast of Quiet, unexplained noises creates weird noises people hear during the nighttime. Orion disturbs him as well because he thinks unexplained noises scares the kids. Dark takes away Orion and believes that he will definitely get impressed by sweet dreams. She takes the thought of the sleeping person and uses them to create a beautiful and enjoyable dream. This reminds Orion of the time when he had a dream about giving a presentation, but it was terrible. As he says that, his thoughts start affecting the dream. Sweet Dreams tries to stop him and advises to have positive thoughts, but Orion unintentionally thinks of the school bully, Richie. He appears in the dream as a huge monster and grabs Orion. Dreams may not hurt anyone, but if Orion dies in this dream, he will die for real too. Dark advises him to think of something beneficial, but Orion is reminded of his fear of clogging the toilet. It appears as a flood and takes away the bully. Meanwhile, Sweet Dreams take Dark and Orion out of the dream. She scolds them both and asks Dark to get rid of Orion. Poor kid gets really upset and accepts that he can never accomplish anything in his life. Dark asks him to cheer up as he has come over some of his fears. When Orion doesn't agree, Dark reminds him that he has just befriended a night entity he was afraid of. Orion's biggest fear, the fear of darkness is gone. He gets really happy and decides to have another tour of the night. This time he sees the beauty of night with both ears open. He touches the ocean and even puts his heat inside it. Orion has finally learned how to have fun. After the tour, he decides to earn the favor of other night entities and meets them again. But this time, instead of judging them, he helps them complete their tasks. Suddenly, they reach a house where a kid is complaining about Dark and says that he hates him. Dark gets upset to hear that, but Orion advises him not to. The kid is just like Orion used to be because he didn't know Dark enough. Dark says that he is also afraid of something. He is afraid that everyone may be right about him. He may not be a good guy, but a scary monster. Orion doesn't agree and calls Dark a great guy and a wonderful friend. Dark gets happy to hear that and prepares to go back to work. Orion notices someone who is following them for a long time. It's Dark's nemesis, Light. Orion says that he likes Light as he makes everyone feel warm and safe. Dark gets jealous and starts calling Light self-obsessed. Sweet Dreams advises Dark to stop being rude, just to cover up his insecurities. Light says the same thing and exaggerates his importance because he brings brightness and hope to others. He asks Dark to leave immediately as the arrival of daylight may kill Dark. The night entities continue their journey and reach a dark house. Dark gets inside first but Orion is feeling scared again. He starts talking about light and how wonderful it is. He even starts a fire to show the night entities that everything looks more colorful in light. He believes Dark is a great guy, but if the night entities stay with Dark, they will never be able to experience things Light has to offer. Dark hears everything and asks Orion if really likes Light more than him. Orion tries to explain himself and says that he didn't mean it. Dark wants Orion to clear himself in front of the other entities too so they go back to meet them. Orion prepares a speech to explain that Dark is also as great as Light, but his personal opinion gets in the way, and he calls Light better. The night entities agree and decide to join Light's team. Dark reminds them of their friendship, but the entities say that they don't want a friend who is keeping them away from the beauty of life. They all stay behind waiting for Light, while Dark goes to work along with Orion. The kid apologizes and offers to talk to the entities again, but Dark doesn't want it. He just sits down on a random rock and waits for the daylight. Even if he disappears forever, he doesn't care as it will be better than living alone. 
Light arrives and asks Dark to get out of the way, but Dark doesn't listen and eventually disappears forever. Orion is left alone and looks around to find a way. Suddenly, he meets a girl named Hippatia. She claims to be following his story for a long time and offers to help. Without Dark, the world has become miserable. People haven't been sleeping and they are suffering from noise pollution and excessive exposure to light. There are no more peaceful nights. Hypatia has a way to fix it. She has written a poem about the importance of Dark. It says that she misses the night because she sees the best in the dark as the world has become too bright, too selfish and ready to fight. Without the darkness, people can't sleep to recharge themselves. She also misses the quiet which she assumed to be absence of noise. But quiet is actually when small sounds are heard. Similarly, dark is not the absence of light, but it's the place where the starlight is bright. After hearing Hypatia's poem, all the night entities arrive to meet her. They want to bring back the night, but it is impossible without dark. But Hypatia knows a way to bring him back. Dark still exists in Orion's memories, and sweet dreams can access it. Sleep and quiet help Orion fall asleep, and sweet dreams gets to work. She reminds him of the darkest memories so he can reach the moment where he met Dark. Orion gets really happy to see him, but he suddenly descends into a creepy hole. Hypatia reaches there too and tells Orion that being scared is a part of life. He has to feel the fear but do it anyway. Orion understands what it means and jumps in the hole to save Dark. Now he has to wake up. Hypatia whispers in his ears that he is going to miss the field trip and it wakes up Orion immediately. Dark is back too, and he takes Orion to his house. Hypatia finally reveals that she is actually Orion's daughter from the future and doesn't know how to get back in her own time. Suddenly, a boy named Tycho arrives out of nowhere. He has a time machine and helps Hypatia get back home. Actually, this all was just a story that Orion passed down in his family. He created it to help her daughter get over her fears. She added her own elements and told her son, Tycho, who also added his own content and completed the story. However, the field trip part was real, and Orion had decided to go. It was his best decision, and without facing his fears, he wouldn't be able to live his life fully. It's okay to be afraid, but never let your fears get in the way of enjoying your life.